pay-per-view junior welterweight unification now between WBO champion Terrence Crawford and WBC champion Victor Postal. Tickets uh, go on sale today at 1 p.m., which is now. They are reasonably priced at $300, $200, $100, and fifty dollars. The suggested retail price for the pay-per-view event is forty-nine ninety-nine. So it says suggested retail price. I suggest you buy it. Uh, Three p.m. will be the first fight. Six p.m. will be the first television fight on the other card. We'll have more details on the whole card and the matches coming out soon. Or uh, you can go to Twitter and read about it. And their fights are made and killed every day on a daily basis. <laughs> um, I'd like to introduce, uh, at this point, to take us through the rest of the program, someone who celebrated his 50 years in promoting this past March. So July 23rd, it'll be 50 years in four months. And has promoted junior welterweight title fights throughout those years. That include Arguello and Pryor and Chavez and Delahoy and Cotto and Mayweather and Pacquiao. And July 23rd brings us to uh, two more champions, Terence Crawford and Victor Postal. Let me introduce Hall of Fame promoter Bob Aaron. Thank you very much, Carl. And I uh, really appreciate that. Uh, you know, it's enough to say 50 years, you don't have to start counting down each month, you know. Hey, you lived another month. I want to thank Takati uh, for sponsoring uh, this event. Takati has been with us for many years and has sponsored some of the biggest uh, pay-per-view cards that we presented. And I want to thank the Motion Picture, another one of our sponsors, Hands of Stone, which will be coming out in August. And it's the uh, picture based on the life of Roberta Duran. So I run it. We have here the main event for the 140 pound uh, super lightweight title. And Carl mentioned all of the great fighters that were champions at 140. And Roberto Duran's name wasn't mentioned because he never held a 140 pound title. He went from lightweight right up uh, to welterweight. And, uh, uh, but anyway, Roberto will be in attendance and it's always great to have him at one of our events. This fight will be distributed by HBO Pay-Per-View and uh, they do a tremendous job uh, distributing the fight to the pay-per-view industry. And we have here, representing HBO Pay-Per-View, our good friend Tony Wolf. Tony? Thanks, Bob. Uh, thank you all for coming today. HBO Pay-Per-View is very pleased to uh, present in his first pay-per-view show, Terrence Crawford who we think is emerging as one of boxing's brightest and, and best fighters. He, he's a star in the making. Uh, I'm sure Terrence, when he talks, can talk about his story, but he's had many appearances on HBO, all punctuated with spectacular wins. Uh, we think he's a crowd pleaser, and we think he's great in, in being able to sell himself. His reward for all those great performances and all that work he's put in is another championship fighter who some people consider as good as Terrence in Victor Postal. Competition is what drives pay-per-view, and we have competition in droves on July 23rd. I, I want to thank our distributors in the cable, satellite, and telephone uh, up, on, on those sites because they are still, they continue to show their commitment to boxing. We had Dish Network here today taking some interviews, and uh, they're going to be a, a very important part of uh, showcasing this fight and showcasing the development of Terrence and other pay-per-view fighters that we have coming on board. The suggested retail price for the fight is $49.95. When you consider that you're getting two of the best fighters in boxing, along with a great on card that I'm sure Bob will talk about, uh, it's a good deal and a good way to spend a good summer's night watching the best prize fighting in the world. So uh, please, uh, Give all the acknowledgement and, and, uh, and interest and talk about it with your readers and listeners 
and viewers. We have two great fighters here and a great night of boxing, and we promise you a great telecast from HBO Pay Per View. Thank you. This fight is a unification fight, which means that the WBC champion, Victor Postal, will fight against the WBO champion, Terence Crawford. Not only are they two champions, they're both undefeated, and without any question, they are the two best 140 pounders around today. That's why I'm so excited about this fight. When the best fight the best, and it's clearly in this division, the best fighting the best, uh, the public will respond. And I know they will respond uh, to this card, and uh, we have built it up uh, as much as possible. There will be uh, a world championship fight uh, on the other guard for the super middleweight division. Uh, Alberto Ramirez, who just defeated Arthur Abraham to win the title, will be fighting Dominic British uh, of, uh, uh, of Germany, uh, top contender. Uh, Oscar Valdez will fight Matias Rueda and Jose Benavides Jr. will go against Francisco Santana. That will be the U.S. televised pay-per-view card. But in addition, on the international card, we will have two outstanding fights that will be televised all over the world. Uh, Lenny Z from Australia, I always have difficulty with your last name, Lenny, will be fighting Ik Yang of China. Lenny is out there, stand up, Lenny. An Olympic gold medal winner from Japan in the middleweight division, uh, Ryoto Murata, will be fighting Native American from Lawton, uh, Oklahoma, George Tadanubo. <laughs> but he's a terrific fighter, and it should be a very, very good fight. How the hell did he get a name like that? <laughs> do ha nipa Must have some kind of meaning. Anyway, uh, I'm really privileged, uh, and top rank is privileged, to present this card, particularly the main event. And we have invited to Las Vegas, the MGM Grand, where the event will be held. Uh, uh, fans from all over the country, from all over the world, but particularly fans from Omaha, Nebraska, and fans from the Ukraine. And as far as we're gonna do a party uh, the night before the fight, uh, at the MGM Grand uh, for all those people uh, buying tickets from Omaha. Admission to the party is show your ticket, show your driver's license from Nebraska, and you get into the party. It should be a lot of fun the night before. And we're gonna also do a party uh, for our friends from the Ukraine. I'm gonna talk to my good friend, the mayor of Kiev, uh, Vitaly Klitschko, and hopefully he'll bring or get a lot of people to come from Ukraine uh, to watch uh, their great champion, Viktor Postal. So it should be a festive July night uh, in Las Vegas. And now it's uh, with great pride that I will introduce a good friend of boxing, a man who is making a mark here in the United States and around the world, uh, the manager of Victor Postal. Please welcome Vadim Konolov. Vadim? Thank you, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here again. Uh, another great top rank show coming up. Um, 
we went through a long process of putting this fight together. It was on and off for a while, but uh, I'm definitely glad that it's finally happening. This is going to be a great fight for the fans. Everybody's going to definitely enjoy this fight because, as we said before, um, there's not one person, not one critic that can really predict what's going to happen in this fight. There's no prediction on who's the favorite. I mean, even the odds, uh, I'm sure they're going to be slanted towards the U.S. native uh, boxer, but at the end of the day, it's a 50-50 fight. Um, it's been a pleasure. Uh, always working with top rank, uh, Victor Posto. Um, you know, he came from a small village near Kiev. It's been a long, long road. Now he's here fighting on HBO pay per view. Um, I would like to thank Bob Air. I'd like to thank Elite Boxing, Stepan Chernevetsky, um, everybody who was a part of this, uh, Freddie Roach, Gavin McMillan, and the rest of the team. Um, looking forward to the event, and I hope everybody comes out to support and everybody orders the fight on pay per view because uh, you don't want to miss this fight. This is going to be a great fight. And now I'd like to invite uh, Freddie Roach, the legendary trainer of uh, Victor Posto, uh, to say a couple of words about the fight. Um, this is exactly what boxing needs, the best fight in the best. Um, I think this is a great fight. Um, we, had, we had a lot of work ahead of us, and we had, we had a long, hard training camp. Uh, I'd like to wish Terry Trump the best of luck, and um, the best we all win. Thank you. Terrence is here with his uh, two uh, co-managers, uh, Cameron Duncan and Brian McIntyre. And Brian is one of uh, Terrence's trainers, so I'd like to call Brian to the microphone and say a few words. Brian. This event, uh, uh, HBO pay per view of uh, Victor um, Freddie Rose, the manager. Um, like I said, it's going to be a good fight. Um, I commend Victor for uh, wanting to step up and make the best fight. Um, I know he's a good fighter. You know, uh, Freddie's a good trainer. Um, we will show you that we are the best in the game. Thank you. And now uh, I'd like to bring to the microphone Vadim again, who will introduce uh, the WBC champion, uh, a tremendous fighter. And this, you know, this, we promoted two fights for Victor. One against uh, uh, a Turkish guy, Aiden, who the question was, could Victor stay away from him? Because Aiden was a tremendous knockout puncher, and Victor knocked the Turk out. And then, of course, remember the Matisse fight at uh, uh, Stubhub, uh, where the same thing. How could Victor hold off a tremendous puncher like Matisse, the Argentinian, and Victor not only held him off, but knocked him out? Right. So I'd like to bring up to the microphone Vadim Kornilov, who will introduce the WBC champion, Victor Posta. When the 18 fight, uh, before it happened, uh, Elite Boxing was looking to do the fight in the Ukraine, and they wanted to win the first bit there. Uh, you know, they wanted to win the first one to take a fight there, but then uh, the other team was, did not want to go to the Ukraine because of certain political issues that are still going on over there. So the first thing we did is we started looking for an option to put the fight in the U.S. And the first thing we did is called Bob and said, Bob, there's, you know, there's a postal, there's a kid that's from the Ukraine that's going to be fighting for a, for a mandatory position. And Bob said, no problem, you know, we'll put the fight on. We'll find a date and uh, he'll, he'll be on the show. After that, you know, HBO was helpful enough to make it part of the telecast, and I think that was the start of Victor Postel's uh, career in the United States, and that fight probably was the first fight to start making him a star. And I think that kind of explains that, 
you know, the reason that th this is all happening and the top rank is a part of it is because they gave this kid a chance and they put him on, they showcased him to everybody in the United States together with HBO. And uh, after that, you know, Matisse, that was, that was a fight that everybody probably knows Victor by now. And uh, nobody expected what he did in that fight. And right now, uh, I'll bring Victor up to say a couple of words about what he expects from the Crawford fight. Good afternoon to everyone. I am very pleased to be in the USA again. It is also a pleasure to see you all. Um, I especially want uh, to thank Elite Boxing Company. Um, also, I would like to say I would like to thank Vadim uh, Kornilov, my manager, Top Rank, and Bob Adam for the opportunity to take part in this unification fight. On the, on the 3rd of October 2015, I fulfilled my ambition to become a WBC champion. I am sure that I will unify the WBC and WBO belt on the 23rd of June. For my part, the, I will do my best in the record with the help of my team. Freddy Roach, Marvin Samonio, Alexander Polishuk, Oleg Kovalchuk, Gavin McMillan, and uh, Matt Mahova. It will, it will be a spectacular fight. It wishes you all good luck. May the best when me. Thank you very much. Victor, congratulations on your English. <laughs> no, it's tremendous. It's tremendous to see. The, we had a press conference uh, uh, a couple weeks ago in New York for his compatriot, uh, Vasily Lomachenko, who also spoke English. So that's very good. Our guys forget about it, including this, the promoter, the American promoter. We can't speak a word of any foreign tongue. Maybe, uh, Terrence Crawford is unique. Not only is he a terrific fighter, just people are just realizing that around the country. It's had a tremendous ride, went over to England to won, win the lightweight championship. Now is the super lightweight champion, the WBO. Uh, also, he's unique. He comes from the Midwestern part of the United States, Omaha, Nebraska, uh, who haven't uh, recently turned out that many great fighters. I know Floyd came from Grand Rapids, comes from Grand Rapids, but he spent most of his, all of his professional life in Las Vegas. Terrence has stayed at home in Omaha, and he comes out of Omaha really basically to fight, and he's become one of the most popular fighters in the country. This is his first entrance into the pay-per-view ranks and he and we hope uh, that it will be a long ride uh, in the pay-per-view uh, because that's where in this climate uh, the big fights occur. Uh, not only is he a terrific fighter, he's a great young man, uh, I learned recently how he spends most of his summers, not this one, but previous ones, uh, in Africa, uh, helping uh, various uh, poor townships uh, with water supplies and so forth. Really a terrific representative of the sport of boxing. He's the WBO. Uh, super lightweight champion of the world. Please welcome Terence Crawford. Hi, 
everybody doing? First and foremost, I'd like to thank God for blessing me to be here, for blessing me with this opportunity that I'm about to have July 23rd. I'd like to thank Team Postal for calling me out, making this a reality. Uh, July 23rd, it's gonna be a great, great night of boxing. You got the one versus two unification fight. Uh, on paper, everybody says it's a 50-50 fight. But in my eyes, I'm looking at going in there and destroying this man right here. Uh, I know I too much, don't, don't say too much to the public because I'm always focused on, on the task at hand. But when I say this is different for me, this is different for me. I'm looking forward to uh, putting on a great performance, my first pay-per-view, and I'm looking forward to many more to come. And uh, after July 23rd, my record will be 29-0 with 21 knockouts. Thank you. And now thanks to my friend Vitaly Klitschko, the mayor of, U of Kiev, uh, and the Ukrainian government, we have a special presentation of an official postage stamp. Fred?